Hey guys! So as some of you know, um, I just completed my clinical, my first clinical, and I was super excited that it was over. But I got a lot of questions on what do you bring to clinical, what is it like? So this segment is going to be on what to pack uh, to bring to clinical, and the next couple segments are going to be what you actually do in clinical and how to be prepared. Um, so the first thing I always say is be prepared, have your bag. Um, so I have this really cool bag. Um, it's the Borealis from North Face. It's really, really cool. It has tons of pockets and it's super comfortable. It has lots of padding on the back. Um, the, the shoulder straps are really nice. And then they have these little clips that you can clip in in front and on your belly. Um, so that if it, when it does get heavy, which it might, um, it's, it doesn't feel like it's that much. So I have my backpack. Please invest in something really um, good quality for this because you're going to use it for your whole, um, if you want to do two years LPN or four years to get your RN, um, you're going to use it the whole time. So this is what I started with. Um, the next thing, obviously, we're going to need some scrubs. So we had school scrubs that we were given to us. Um, they had to be mob black bottoms. Um, and then we have our school top. We got really pretty um, school tops. I'm not going to open it because I don't want you to see what school it is. Um, but we have really pretty blue scrubs, um, which we got really lucky because I hear a lot of schools don't have really nice ones. So I always put these in here. Um, I don't like to wear my scrubs to and from. Um, there's lots of germs and lots of stuff that you don't want to carry into your car or into your house. So I like to change. Um, that being said, I always bring my socks, um, a separate pair of socks if I do want to wear um, any closed-toed shoes after or before. Um, but most of the time I didn't. I just wore my flip-flops. Um, we have just some little cute little Roxy flip-flops in there. So that's what I had in my pocket. Um, something else that you'll really need is your ID badge. Again, not going to show you my picture, but you're going to need your ID badge for basically everything to sign off on, to get in, to make sure that, you know, you are who you are and someone doesn't just walk in and say that they're a student as well. So that's going to go in um, the pocket as well. Something that not I didn't think about until halfway through was a USB charger. Um, you never know when your phone's going to die. Sometimes I had to email um, my teacher's assignments or any kind of forms that I need to fill out. So it's always good to have this um, on hand. Um, and I also would bring with me just kind of like toiletries. I'm going to kind of go through what they are. I'm not going to spend too much time. So you're going to need some deodorant. That's self-explanatory. You know that you're why you're going to need it. Um, so that's going to go in there. Um, your lips get really dry. You're talking and you're moving and you're sweating. So I always bring some lip balm with me. Um, I'm just going to put that in my pocket. I always bring, like I said, a USB just in case I have to bring an assignment with me. Give it to my instructor. What I have it. Um, so that's going to go in there. I have this really cool bobble. Um, it's like a kind of a really flex, woo, really flexible hair tie. Um, it doesn't add a crinkle in your hair. So usually I would keep my hair down because I want it to be somewhat presentable. I'd pop my hair up all day. It would sit in a cute little thing. Um, and then I would take it out and it doesn't create any creases in your hair. It kind of just keeps it um, straight. So this is really good. They're like $5. This is an amazing invention and you only need one. Um, so I always had that with me. Um, you're going to need some Tylenol. You're going to have a headache one day. Some, it's just going to be extra stressful. Sometimes it's really hot. Sometimes there's a lot of stuff going on and you're go, go, go. So if you have a headache, you don't have time to stop and have a headache. So bring some Tylenol with you. You know about it from farm. So you know what the uses are. Um, I always used to bring, so I was kind of not really into the smells. I wasn't a big smell person. So whenever there was a pungent odor that maybe I wasn't used to yet, I would put some, this is a roller bar, it's called Peppermint Halo from Sage, um, and I would just roll this right underneath my nose, to be honest, and go into the room, deal with what I have to deal with, and it was always there for me. Um, I would keep this in my little pocket up here, and it would be easier to reach if I needed it and when I needed it. Just fast, and it's kind of inconspicuous as well. You don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, um, so you just want to throw that in there. And then same thing, it's Virgin Lips from Sage. I would throw that on um, in yeah, just kind of another lip balm that we have. Um, and then you would always bring an extra one of these. These are great. I have lots of assignments. We have to write lots of papers during clinical. Um, to tons and tons and tons of, of um, patient research. So this is always great to have on hand if you lose your paper clip or you just have a bunch of papers that you need to clip together. 
Um, as for in the bag, these are things you're always going to want to have. Highlighters, a couple different colors, a couple pens, a black and a blue, and a Sharpie. Um, I actually had my patient was special. He needed some wound care, and you had to write the date. So we needed whoops, a Sharpie to write the date and your initials on the wound um, so that they knew when the next time was to change it. Had I not had that, I would have had to write it in pen, and it wouldn't have been as noticeable. So really glad I had a Sharpie, and I was prepared. Um, as for your uniform, I liked having, these are nurses' watches. You can get them on Amazon. I got them both from there. Um, they both can read upside down, so when it's t on you, you just look down and it's right there. Um, they all have second hands, so you can count the times, uh, the seconds for the respirations and for the pulse. Um, and one's just a little bit bigger than the other. I have no preference. I liked them both. This one I got lots of compliments on. It's hot pink. It's kind of in your face. Um, so I've got a lot of compliments on this one. I got this one just off of Amazon. I think it's maybe $5. So that's what I have in there. Um, our kit in lab came with a pen light, um, but it's really important to have this. Um, this one has the pupil gauge, which is part of your head to toe assessments that you're going to have to do. Um, as well, it's good to check the oral mucosa um, for your swallowing assessment. So really, really good to have. Make sure it works. Um, and then I always kept a pen, again, in my pocket. We had an arm pocket and one here. Um, this is just to write your chart, do some charting, do some DARP, um, if you know what DARP is, and get that done. So that's what I always had a pen on me, not necessarily in my bag. Um, I always brought this with me, even though they have mechanical um, automatic machines. Old school is the best way. I know that they're going to teach you old school, so make sure you have this. Um, so you have your sphygmometer, uh, which is right here, and you want to make sure that you have that um, on you. I like to just toss it over, and honestly, I totally forget about it. I just do my thing, and then whenever I have a patient I have to move, um, I just pop them off, put them on the sink, and then put them back so they don't get too dirty. And they're really, you know, you can sanitize them a hundred times with cabbie wipes without them being, you know, you can't destroy these suckers. Um, so that was always in my bag with me. Um, and then, of course, your lovely stethoscope. Um, mine was actually handed down from my mom, which is super sweet. And it was a double because it's like the exact same color as our scrubs for school. So that was kind of a bonus. Um, and the one thing I'll say is if you do get a pair that was handed down or it's brand new, make sure you find the earpieces are really comfortable. Um, these ones are a little bit older, they're a little bit harder, so I had to go and get some new foam pieces to go on. Um, it also doesn't have a bag, which I would have really loved to get, you know, those really cute bags you can get on Amazon and pop them in so you can kind of put them wherever, but I didn't need it. Again, I just swung it right over my neck and kind of just like forgot about it. I really didn't even know that I had it on me half the time. Um, so that is something that was always in my bag and always with me. Something else that I, again, overthought, I didn't even think to, to have it until my second week, is a tiny little notebook. Um, I brought my scrubs with me to the dollar store to make sure that this would fit in my pocket on my, it's kind of like a cargo on my leg, and I made sure that it fit um, because you are going to have a ton of notes when you do vitals. That's my dog. When you do vitals, you want to write them down and you want to report them. If you have a blood glucose, you need to report anything out of the ordinary. Um, if you have more than one patient, um, you can have up to four in my clinical. Um, you want to write it down and you want to make sure you have all the information. You're not second guessing. You don't have to go back and do it all over again. So this is really important. It was always on me, not necessarily in my bag. Um, for breaks, they force you to take breaks, and I'm so glad that they do, um, because you could just run, run your little head off and not even realize. So I always brought, um, headphones to make sure when I'm on my break, I put them in, I listen to YouTube or iTunes, whatever it is, um, and then I can kind of zone out, take a break, unwind, and then get ready to go back right after. So those are always, um, in my bag. And the next one you're going to do, you're going to fill out 100,000 cards um, when you do your patient research. And we did med cards. So these are like all the medications for all my clients, uh, my patients, um, that they're on. Everything. Their allergies, everything, anything that the patients are on, 
this is it. So for three patients, that's quite a lot of meds and allergies that I had to remember. And they don't expect you to remember them all, so I kept them and popped them in um, a little folder here. And then this again was just at the dollar store. Cute cards are at the dollar store. Awesome deal. That was always with me. Um, the med cards for my patient or if it was a med day, um, I would bring them just the ones I needed, pop them in my pocket as well in my little notebook. And then I had them right on hand if I had any questions or questioned why they were taking it or was wondering, you know, anything about the med, I had the information. Um, then some people like to have it on a ring and punch them, throw them in a ring. I just felt like the ring was too bulky for me, for my scrubs, but I had other girls who had really big cargo pockets and they worked really well. So that's another option to have. Um, and that's pretty much it for my bag um, that I brought to clinical with me. If you're in clinical or you're just starting clinical, best of luck to you. It's going to be... Um, a game changer. You're going to cry. You're going to laugh. You're going to feel every emotion. And I think that's really cool as a nursing student to be able to facilitate um, with, in a safe environment um, with your instructors, a, a safe environment. So you can ask questions and you can learn. And um, most of the times the patients love that you're there and they appreciate all your help. Um, usually we give all the rest of the nurses a break, so that's really great. They, The staff usually love us um, when we come because we can kind of, you know, take out things at their job and they can really focus on things that they want to. So um, good luck to you if you're in clinical. If you're in the midst of clinical and you have crazy assignments and you think it's never going to be over, it will be over before you know it and you're going to realize um, how much you really love doing it. And you're going to realize... And you're going to say to yourself, this is why I became a nurse. Um, so keep that in mind and keep your chin up. If you're nervous for clinical, good. You should be nervous. If you're not nervous, that kind of, that's a little shocking. You should be a little nervous. Um, because you don't want to do anything. You don't want to second guess. You don't, definitely don't want to make any mistakes. So um, best of luck to you. Hats off. And uh, I'll see you in my next videos. Okay, cheers.